Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Todd Taylor with Advanced Rescue Solutions. Today we're going to talk about alternative ways to set up mechanical advantage off of a tripod in order to do confined space rescue. Remembering that we must keep in mind that force vectors all have to be within the footprint of the tripod. In order to keep the legs from moving out on the tripod, we have to put a hobble rope in. That hobble rope is going to be tight enough to where it does not allow those legs to go out. As we bring that through each one of the legs, we're going to end it in a square knot. The square knot is going to be adjustable, and we're going to be able to hold that rope together. Square knot is left over right and right over left, but as you see, when we go through this, we're going to take a bite in the rope. That bite in the rope then is going to be pulled back over itself. Once it's pulled back over itself, it creates two ears. We push those ears down. The other end of the rope then is ran through that, as that runs through, you may have to help it a bit, but the loop is going to roll over on itself and tighten up. And as you can see, that creates our square knot and then keeps the legs in place. With the tripod fully set up now, we have to remember that we have to keep the resultant force within the legs of the tripod. We can do that by setting a system off to the side and then doing a tie back. We can have a pre-manufactured four to one coming through there. But if you don't have that, we're going to show you an alternative way of setting that up. In order to do that, we start with putting a friction control device up on top, which in this case, we're going to use a clutch and 11 millimeter rope. The rope is going to go through the clutch. And then we're going to hook the clutch at the top of the tripod. going to come through a double pulley at the bottom. Once it goes through that double, we're going to hook a single pulley at the becket. The rope is going to go back through that single pulley. And then come back down through the double. Once it comes through the double, then we have to terminate it, and we're going to do that at the top of the tripod. We now have a four to one mechanical advantage system that we can use to raise our victim or raise and lower our rescuer. When operating a four to one without a load on it, it can sometimes be difficult to lower. In order to overcome that, we simply put a piece of webbing in, and then the rescuer at the bottom of the hole can pull that down to them. When we hook up the rescuer to the four to one, we're gonna come in, hook the rescuer up, and with the four to one the way it's set up, the rescuer can simply be raised. We will have a belay hooked up to our rescuer. We're gonna be using an ASAP lock to do that. In future episodes, we'll show you alternative ways of setting up the ASAP lock as a belay. In this segment, we've shown an alternate way of setting up a four to one system using equipment that you most likely already have in your rescue cache. My name's Todd Taylor. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.